you, my name is Jeff Work, better known as Pat. This body of water that we're actually in here, this is called the Codrington Lagoon. As a youngster, I started working within the tourism at King Short Shirt Glass Bottom Boat in Antigua and Dickinson Bay. I started driving for him, taking people to the Paradise Reef and to Bird Island where he had a Bird Island picnic. And everybody keep telling me, oh, you had a natural knack for what you were doing because I naturally love, enjoy interacting with people and these sort of things. And then I made up like different little stories to tell people when you're passing the houses and the building oh that belongs to this there's some movie star lived there and these sort of things so everybody enjoyed me doing that back then then i moved to barbuda and when i came over here going down at the wharf seeing the other guys the older folks back then it was more older persons doing it back then and then one day i told one of the guys i can do that enough and i can do it very good and he gave me an opportunity and from that one opportunity he gave me you see how i interacted very well with the guests and the knowledge that i had with the birds that he actually gave me his bird to start his boat to start doing the runs for him and paying me a salary i did that for mr burton mr prophet burton for years for at least about five six years until one day the banks found me worthy enough to give me a chance to own my own boat. I've been driving this boat now for 25 years. It's mine. It's not mine right now, it's my son's because I pass it over to him, but I still drive it. Okay, what I like most doing the tours, the frigate bird tours, is the expression that you see on some people's faces at the end of the tour. Sometimes you, you bring some people and they're not all that excited, but when they come and see the naturalness. The Frigate Bird Sanctuary is not made up by mankind. It's a different groups of mangrove growing different areas that the birds inhabit and make their nests. So when you bring people now and they see the naturalness of the whole area, the way the expression change and show appreciation for the natural scenery, at the bird, it makes me feel beautiful inside. Both Prince for the United Kingdom, Prince Harry and Prince Williams, they're actually rowing this very same boat. You hear? Bringing them down here. Okay, I've been famous people like Mark Zuckerberg from the um, Facebook and Sylvester Stallone from Rambo. These are some of the few actually movie stars that I've actually dealt with doing this bird tour. The Frigate Bird Sanctuary means a lot, not just for the individual persons who come down here on a daily basis. It brings in actual revenue to my country because we have boats, yachts and mega yachts that travel all over that they come right here to Barbuda because we have one of the, 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 the sanctuary with the birds that you can actually come and visit that you can get at least about 10 feet away from the birds and a lot of people enjoy that and for the country it brings in folks not just by yacht folks come and travel and come and spend overnight so they're spending overnight they're staying in our guest house they stay in our hotels so it brings in revenue to the country it's one of the biggest money earner that we have here in Barbuda and we cherish it just as how we cherish our own children. Making him know that not because we're this close we're not going to do him anything. He's, he's quite safe because he's protected by law. He know that I cannot grab him or take him up to show off that his wingspan. I know he's watching me. You hear to show off that his wingspan is six feet. You hear? So he will just relax there and this one cannot fly. This is a juvenile. You see how big he is in a juvenile? He cannot fly. He's still waiting for time. Maybe within the next two weeks or so. Because as you see, he's fully feathered. He's fully feathered. You hear? But he just haven't quite got the confidence to start flying as yet. As you look around, you don't see no fancy man structure. All you see is Mother Nature. The birds, the mangrove. 
And more tourists today, I can tell you this because they say to us here, you hear, more tourists today are looking for something that is more natural, not something that is artificially built up. And when they come to the sanctuary, that is what they get. 100% pure natural scenery, nothing artificial. And one of the things that I tell the young guys coming into this business, you must love people to do this business. Don't come and think about the money that you make. The first thing, think how you're going to treat the guests. That when he leaves from here, not some advertisement that they put on TV, but the guests will go and tell people, when you go to Bar Beauty, you must go to Mr. Richardson. He takes his time, he explains things, and he's a good guy to deal with. That is what you want as a young person coming into this business. People saying about you when they leave you.